two days before that cooch injury, Antonio Brown got hurt in Philly, and that very well could be the start of his downfall in Tampa Bay. Bruce Arians and the team have their story. Antonio Brown has his. Here's a snapshot of how he got to this point. Let's start on December 24th. Thanks to Antonio Brown's Instagram account, this shows us Tom Brady's trainer and right-hand man, Alex Guerrero, has severed ties with the wide receiver. Gives us a glimpse into a possible fracture behind the scenes. No matter what happened on Christmas Eve, Antonio Brown balls out two days later in his first game action since week six. It was also the first time he spoke with the media since his suspension. You guys, this is all drama. It's all about football. We, we don't talk about Carolina. I don't want to talk to you guys. According to reports, Antonio Brown then asked the Bucs to have his remaining $2 million in incentives guaranteed. The club denied that request. On Friday, acting head coach Harold Goodwin said AB was a game time decision. I think he might have tweaked it a little bit. Also that day, per AB's Instagram, he texted with Bruce Arians about his ankle, saying he was all in. Arians responded with, we'll talk it out. On Sunday, that leads us to the infamous walk off at MetLife Stadium. He is no longer a buck. I think everyone should should be very compassionate. Meanwhile, after the game ended, Antonio Brown releases a rap song. Then he also calls on a man who on Instagram is known as Danny Boy Hustle Hard. Go viral out here is nothing short but viral. That's important because here is his interview the next day on Part of My Take. He wasn't getting the ball, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it was a coach said something to him and... That really just flipped the top, you know what I'm saying? It's now Monday the 3rd, and Bruce Arians meets with the media. Can you fire a player if he won't go because he's injured? I don't know that he was. The conversation you had with, with Antonio Brown was, was not one regarding his ankle injury. No. Meanwhile, we find out A.B. is still in New York. How? Because there he is at the Nets game in glasses indoors. Brown remains on the roster Tuesday and into Wednesday when AB releases a lengthy statement you can find on 10tampabay.com. In it, he claims he did not want to go in the game because of injury reasons, citing these issues you see on your screen with his ankle. Four days after a topless AB runs off the field, the Bucks finally released a wide receiver from the roster. Bruce Arians also makes an impromptu media appearance, clarifying details on what happened Sunday. He was very upset at halftime about who was getting targeted. Uh, I ain't playing to what's going on. I ain't getting the ball. That's when I said, you're done. Get the F out of here. These incidents either break a team or they galvanize a team. They get one tune-up before the playoffs, and you can watch the Bucks take on the Carolina Panthers right here on 10 Tampa Bay at 425.